Okay, so let me get this straight. You're a vampire, you drink blood to survive, you aren't human but you used to be, and you went to night classes just cause, and not cause you burn up in the sun. And you were able to protect me because you wanted to follow me home because you felt bad for me being stood up. And my life was only saved because you were busy feeling sorry for me. And the guys that attacked me were also vampires, but not the same as you. They had... What did you say they had? Demon-born blood. Okay, yeah, cool. No, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I can set up on my own. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just needed to ask you one more thing. <laughs> what the actual hell is going on? A switch-up? I'm not the weak-willed, limp-legged bozo you think I am, buster. I was delirious from the head trauma after a vampire threw me like a damn rag doll. He didn't throw me. Okay, then what did he do? I mean, that was insane. <laughs> Did you see that? The little bitch felt like a sack of potatoes. How am I still alive? Uh, he he, yeah, I'm freaked out. How was I supposed to know you were a vampire? I thought you were a demon gum for my blood or something when your eyes started glowing like... Like... I, I don't know. Something that glows. I know that I'm... I know that I'm terrified. But I realize you just saved me, so you're either going to keep me for your own personal blood supply, or you're going to let me go after you nurse me back to health. Don't, don't worry. I know it's the latter because I've seen you work on those labs we had together, and you aren't going to go through with the whole torture fantasy. How am I so short? Dude, seriously? You were always late to class, and then always copied my notes. It looked like if you lifted a finger, you were going to pass out. Even me feeding you, ignore that, the answers, you seemed so exhausted by the process of putting ink to paper. No, I'm not... I'm not mad about it. I'm just telling you my thought process behind me estimating my chances of you draining me like a Capri Sun. Yes, I'll lay back down because I can feel my head spinning, and not because you told me to. By the way, please don't eat me. Okay, okay, sorry, I'm just... I'm just a little worked up from, you know, everything. So... Yes, I have a lot of questions, thank god. They were eating me up. Okay, I know, bad timing. Your exhaustion at school. What about it? You weren't feeding? Why weren't you feeding? Were you on, like, a, a diet or something? You didn't know how to feed. How would you... Wait. Were you a vampire when we had the glasses together? Only the last half. Okay. Oh, so that big guy was right. You're a new blood. Of course I was listening. I may have been in a life or death situation, but my ears were still working. Dude, everyone knows what a newborn means. I mean, have you ever heard of the Glitter Vampires trilogy? Yes, I could guess you didn't sparkle in the sun, but I mean, they got the super speed and the blood drinking, right? Oh god, this doesn't make me Isabella, does it? Who? Oh, god, I can't believe you haven't seen the movies. Okay, yeah, you're right, I'll let you finish. I'm sorry. Wait, I have one more question. If you weren't a vampire, why were you taking night classes? Touche. Okay, continue. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, God. Okay. So, let me get this straight. You got mugged, almost died, 
and a big dude appeared out of nowhere and said he could turn you because you wouldn't make it to the ER. And you just said, yes. Did you even know what he meant when he said turn you? Did he know that he meant vampire? I don't know what I would have done in that situation. Probably not give a rando person permission to nibble on my jugular. You're right. I don't know what it was like. I'll back off. I'm just... I don't know. This is a lot to take in. Oh, God. And on top of that, all these cuts and scrapes are starting to hurt. I think the adrenaline's starting to wear off. I'm also now becoming acutely aware of how rude I've been this entire time and how messed up this whole situation is. What, what are you doing? Oh, you think I'm going to drink your blood? Humans can't drink blood. You know that, right? It's like a biological thing. You'll throw up if you ingest too much blood. I don't know why. I think it just upsets your stomach or something. D does it even matter? To heal me. I'm not dying. I don't think I want to be turned. Thank you. Oh. I... I didn't know Vampire Boy could do that. It won't make me, like, one of the undead, would it? Oh, you... You would have to bite me first. Okay. Um... That makes sense. I guess. Then what is the T for? Okay, that also makes sense. I don't think I could just stomach straight up blood. Um, what kind of tea is it? A sleepy tea? Uh, h how strong is it? Damn. Yeah, I, uh, I still want it, to be honest. My heart is still racing from earlier. Hey, uh, before I chug this, I need to say something. Thank you. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off as ungrateful. I mean, you saved my life, and for that, I am really grateful. I just... I think I'm kind of out of it after everything that's happened. You're a really good person. You know that? You could have just... Not intervened and not gotten yourself so scuffed up, but you helped me, so I owe you one. Bottoms up. I know I don't have to drink it if I don't want to, but to be honest, this heart racing shit hurts really bad, and a nap is kind of the best case scenario. I'm still processing the fact that supernatural things exist. Others? What else is there? Oh, that's what they're called. Isn't that a little confusing? I mean, what's even the etymology of that? Okay, yeah, that's fine. We don't have to get into it. Um, could you stay with me? I'm, uh, I'm kind of afraid they're going to come back for me. I know, I just, I, I really don't want to be alone right now. Also, the decor in this room is kind of freaking me out. You've got kind of eccentric tastes. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll get some rest. I can feel the tea kind of hitting. 